First of all, its purpose is unjust. Its purpose is to attack and divide the populace of the UK to stop them from doing something which is good, namely sharing. Sharing is good. Sharing builds social relationships of mutual help. People must be free to non-commercially share copies of any published work. So instead of attacking this practice, the UK should be legalizing it. And the fact that it has attacked cooperation instead of legalizing it shows it's working for the copyright industry and not for the people. Now, the Digital Economy Act is also fundamentally unjust in the way, in, in the way it uh, attacks the good practice of sharing, namely by punishing people without a proper trial. It sacrifices basic principles of justice that should apply to every area of life for the sake of its evil purpose. because they're working for the mega corporations instead of for the people. This fact can be observed in the whole spectrum of political issues. It's taken for granted even that businesses have the real power and that means it's not democracy, it's corporatocracy. If you expect Mr. Gates to have more political influence than me, that means you're expecting not to have democracy. Well, first of all, uh, do not allow patents to affect software. It should be automatic that the development and distribution and use of a program for uh, ordinary computing hardware uh, is automatically safe from patent infringement. Uh, second, uh, the state should only use free software. Uh, getting to that point will take time, but it should be pursued with firmness. The presence of a non-free program in a state agency should be considered a vulnerability of the state, a loss of sovereignty that needs to be corrected. Then the state must never distribute non-free software to others. And that includes the JavaScript programs in the websites or referenced by the websites of the state. They have to be free also because they're being distributed to users, to the public in general, for, to be run by others. Schools must teach exclusively free software. Schools have tremendous influence on the future. And proprietary software developers know that and they want to take advantage of that influence. They want to use the schools as instruments to lead society into dependence, which is like uh, giving the school gratis cigarettes to hand out to the students at lunch. Uh, so that they will get to use this product that's so widely used in society. No, the schools shouldn't do that. And they shouldn't teach people to use proprietary software for the same reason. Because their job is to educate good citizens of a strong, capable, independent, cooperating, and free society. And that in computing means teaching people to be free software users so that they don't have a, an imposed dependence on somebody in particular. Then <clears throat> uh, sharing must be legalized. Sharing exact copies of any published work must be legal. By sharing I mean non-commercial redistribution uh, for works that are not practical, functional works to do practical jobs in your life, I think it's okay to have a copyright system. 
uh, but it shouldn't last so long. It should last 10 years or some other similar short period of time so that you don't have to depend on life extension technology to wait for a work to enter the public domain. Digital restrictions management, DRM, should be prohibited. If we can go beyond the issue of patents and copyright and free software, the laws that can imprison people in the UK on suspicion must be repealed. These laws attack fundamental human rights. Laws attacking freedom of association must be repealed. The power to ban an organization without putting it on trial and convicting it of some sensible crime must not exist.